Welcome back to another devlog about my still unnamed 2D mining and crafting game. And I'm sorry, I need to apologize to you because I have been making so much dang progress over on my Twitch streams, but a lot of that hasn't trickled over into the YouTube content because it's kind of hard to sometimes make a really clean and edited video. So apologize for the roughness here, but this is just going to be me talking about all the fun stuff we've added. And one of the big things I've been doing in this last month over on the Twitch streams is making sure that mining feels good because spoiler in my mining and crafting game something you're doing a lot is going to be mining and i want at a core that i want it to be fun to mine and so a lot of that was thinking about the design thinking about other games that have interesting mining systems in them like dome keeper or terraria minecraft noita and what do i like and dislike about those different systems and trying to find a happy medium place now, have you ever watched a youtube video that absolutely changes your perspective on a topic well this video by Jonas tyroler here called this problem changes your perspective on game dev did just that it is not clickbait it is, it is worth 25 minutes it'll be linked below go subscribe to Jonas's video but essentially what Jonas talks about is that you need to be exploring very quickly like a search algorithm to find the fun of your game or the feelings you want your players to experience. And so this month, I've been focusing on mining in my game. I'll be doing the art separately. So right now in my game, the art is all just placeholder assets from Kenny. And then eventually, once I nail down the art and I nail down the setting and I nail down the mechanics, I'll switch into production mode. But this month has really been focused on getting mining to feel good. Part of that was adding in sound effects. I use this site here called Zapsplat to just download some nice free assets. I'm not a lawyer, so read the licensing yourself for how you want to use it. Uh, but I just downloaded some quick assets here and you can see that it sounds really good. Now let me remove in the post, I'll remove the sound effects here. And now I'm going to put them back in so you can see how they sound with sound effects. It's pretty different, right? If you want to feel better about your game, even if it's just placeholder sounds, add it in and just see what it sounds like to have a little bit more impact in your games. I promise it's gonna be worth the effort. And again, Zapsplat's a really good place to come and get them. But also, as you're thinking about how to develop mechanics, look at other games. What did they do well that you liked? Dome Keeper becomes what I really want my early game mining system to feel like and look like where you hop into the, the cave system here. Let's see, where, where do they do mining? Here, and it's just this tick, tick, boom. And you're just pushing against the, the rock in the wall. I kind of went with more of a Terraria style where you have this mining range. And when your mouse enters the mining range, you can then click and mine. And so you'd have to both aim where you want to hit, be in the right position, have your mouse in the right position, and then click on the right tile. And it felt a little clunky. And so simplifying the mining system down to simply just pushing up against it, and you have a pickaxe out, you'll go ahead and mine, really makes it feel a lot better and more intuitive. I wanted to explore a little bit about what late game mining can feel like. So I have spells that deal damage to these tiles and shoot out and can break the tiles as well. I even have a fun black hole wand right now, which can shoot out a black hole and just churn through it. Eventually we'll change the black hole so it sucks up your ore and it doesn't just kind of be a OP mining wand, but we'll get there in due time. Now, one of the other ways I wanted to make mining feel a little bit better would be adding in these little ore veins you can see here. So basically, I've updated these cells here, these, these tiles in my tile map, to only drop between one and two ore. So you still get a little bit of a little bit of ore from just doing basic mining, but you have to go really go and find these ore veins to drop a lot more ore. And I wanted to show you a little bit about how I did this in Godot. So popping back over into my tile set here, I can go grab the tile set grab the paint layer, and then you can find the paint property you want to paint. In this case, we're going to look at this custom data I've defined for loot scale. This loot scale is going to be 2.0. So it's going to be 200% of the normal loot amount. And over here on the auto tile for my terrain is going to be 20%. And then when I'm actually destroying these tiles, I'm going to try to grab out the tile data and then use the get custom data on that tile data and grab out the value for loot scale here. So I could have different ore values that will have different amounts of loot scale. Maybe I have a weak vein or a rich vein, and this is a really easy and quick way using the tools in the toolbox of Godot to do it. So if you are using any engine, sometimes if you're gonna implement a complex system, it can be worth taking a couple steps back to see, is there a tool in the toolbox or some custom method or some custom class that you're not familiar with that maybe already tackles the solution you wanna do, and it can save you a lot of time and really start utilizing the engine for the strengths and the abstraction it can do that you don't have to be building all these complex systems.
Now mining feels great in my game, but I wanted to also add in a little bit of a taste of what the crafting system could look like. So right now, all of the different items in my game have a, a few modifiers or one modifier, really. This pickaxe here has mining speed. This pickaxe has mining speed as well. Maybe we wanted one that has mining damage. Let's grab the one with the lower mining speed on the left. We'll click and drag it into the crafting bench and we can right now just reroll all modifiers, which will give this base type of a pickaxe a random modifier that can actually roll on the pickaxe. So right now there's only three. We got mining speed, knockback amount, and mining damage. Maybe we want mining damage on this pickaxe instead. You can see we have 150 resources and this craft costs 50 resources. We'll click the crafting button and now we have mi minus knockback percent. Maybe we don't really want that. Let's try something else. Okay, we just got more knockback percent and we have enough for one more reroll and we got knockback percent again. Shoot. And that's kind of okay with me that we didn't hit the exact craft we want. I want my early game crafting to feel random and then as you progress through building more bases and fighting more bosses to unlock more powerful crafting options, you can eventually craft really targeted gear like this clip from kind of a proof of concept of what a kind of mid game pickaxe could look like that can just kind of tear through all of the materials really quickly with a very quick mining speed, maybe a lot of mining damage, and maybe a very little amount of knockback. And last but certainly not least, you can come over here and we added the ability for the cat to actually meow and it can do really low pitch meows. And it sounds meow. like a demon cat is possessed the cat because it can pitch shift down to 0.1 pit, uh, pitch and all the way up to like 1.9 pitch. And so meow. some of them <laughs> sound like a demon cat. Probably not going to stay, but for the demo, I think that's kind of fun. Speaking of the demo, you can now play the demo over on itch.io. I have added in some controls over here. I have added in some feedbacks, some specific goals I want to have, because this isn't really a demo. It's not a full vertical slice of the game. Instead, it's a very focused slice, because I want to make sure, like I talked about earlier in the video, that I can make mining to feel really good. So one of the big things I want you to do is grab a pickaxe. You can hover over the different pickaxes to see what sort of modifiers are on them. So this one has more damage. This one has more speed. And just play with them to see what how they feel. See how mining speed feels. See how the knockback feels. See what damage feels. Is, is that feel better or worse and just kind of play around and I want to hear your feedback either down in the comments below here on YouTube or come join me over in my discord and chat with me there or you can even leave it over on the itch page or better yet come join me over on twitch I'll be live right after this at twitch.tv slash I'm live Tuesday through Friday starting at 11 a.m. central time daylight time I don't know what time it is for you basically when this video went live I'll be over on twitch I'd love to see you there I've been Aramis thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time